Hi everybody. One of the most common questions that I've been getting lately is how to stay motivated or how to get motivated while in isolation. And I have two really important tips for you and then the rest I'll kind of guide you through and give you some ideas. The most important one though is that you wake up and get dressed. Wake up, have a shower, refresh yourself, get dressed. If you stay in your pajamas all day long or all morning long, you're going to feel sluggish, you're not going to feel motivated. You need to make sure that you kickstart your day with a routine, waking up and getting dressed and feeling ready to face the day. Otherwise, yeah, it's just, a, it's just a bad routine. It's a bad habit and it's going to be very hard to break later on. So we wanna keep up that momentum, keep up that energy. The second one is to make sure that you have a plan. So it does fit into that first one, but it's to make sure that you have your day scheduled out because this could take three plus weeks at least of serious isolation where we have to take it seriously. If you don't have a plan, you are not going to feel motivated. You need to make sure that each day has got structure to it so that you know what to expect, that you're setting yourself standards to achieve something. So that also goes hand in hand with your fitness. So not just your work life that you might be doing at home or if you're uh, schooling your children from home, you've got to have that structure for your fitness as well. Otherwise it's too easy to get to the end of the day and you're going to be exhausted and you'll just cross it off because it's the last thing and you just can't be bothered. So having a plan, and I usually recommend getting up and doing the exercise first thing in the morning, get it out of the way. Otherwise making sure somewhere mid-afternoon um, that you're not going to leave it to the last thing in the day and you just can't be bothered anymore. So those are the two main tips. Wake up, get dressed, do a workout, or at least schedule it into your day somewhere where you know each day what your routine is going to be. Then it all comes down to what are you going to do? How are you going to stay motivated with the exercises that you have um, available to you? So obviously most of us are going to be very limited. We don't have any equipment at home. Uh, and that's totally fine because there is so much that you can do. There are so many YouTube videos that will show you exercises that you can do at home that you don't need any equipment. You can put music on and you can dance. If you need a more formal structure of that, there's obviously things like Zumba or dance videos on YouTube that you can follow along to. Get the kids involved and hopefully that will keep you motivated. I plan actually on doing a 4 p.m. Uh, sort of fun workout with my kids every day. I will be streaming that live as well so you can follow along to that. Um, there are lots of other things available that can be free. So for example, if you have a celebrity that you like that you know is really into fitness, they might have some free YouTube videos. They also might have an app and a lot of people are offering uh, two weeks or 28 days free or even just seven days. So you can get a taste of what they're doing and how to do it and how to structure a workout. Um, so you could take advantage of that and that would hopefully keep you accountable as well. You can also put together your own workout plan. You don't need to actually follow somebody else's plan. You can structure your own plan according to what you like because if you're not going to enjoy the workout, you're not going to stick with it. So I'll put together a separate video for you of how to put together your own home workout program, depending obviously on the amount of time that you have available to work out. If you've got children that you need to juggle, you might be putting together a plan that's personalized for you that will be three or four times a week. If you don't have any other responsibilities, you might be able to exercise every day and then your plan could be a little bit different. So make sure that you uh, check down below. I will leave a link uh, for that video to help you put together your own plan where it could involve cardio, resistance, dance, uh, strength training, um, a different plan for each person depending on what you enjoy doing. So check that one out. In terms of accountability, it might help to have a friend that you can team up with, that you can buddy up with, that you can text to check in to make sure that you've both done your workouts. You could even um, FaceTime or Zoom each other and do those workouts together. So that's a really good way to keep yourself accountable. You could set yourself some kind of uh, calendar where once you've completed that certain number of workouts that you planned, that you will treat yourself. Once this is all over, you'll go get a massage or um, you know, you'll take yourself on a holiday or whatever it's going to be that's going to motivate you to, to stay on track. And then the last thing that I probably think is really important um, is eating well while you're at home because if you're not eating well and eating nourishing food, you're going to be less inclined to feel motivated to exercise. If you're eating well 
it's sort of it's a domino effect and they go hand in hand if you're eating well you're going to feel more inclined to exercise if you're exercising you're going to be more inclined to eat well so that's why I'm saying it's really important to have that plan that can keep your structure for the day making sure that you have your breakfast time lunch and dinner or snacks whatever it is that you need in for your routine um, make sure that you're eating well to not only nourish your body to feel better about yourself, to feel more confident that you are on the right track and not get yourself sort of stuck in a rut, uh, that you're not doing the right thing or that you're not treating your body with respect. So eating well and exercising do go hand in hand. It's You're going to be able to get results if you can actually maintain the two of those. It, there's going to be, obviously something's better than nothing, but if you're just exercising but you're not eating right, you're not gonna come out of this with uh, much to show for it. You might improve your fitness somewhat, but imagine how good you will feel if you can maintain both. So I hope that's helped you somewhat. Just a quick summary to get you started for the week, um, but please feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure you subscribe. My YouTube page is Karen Zumba, and uh, I'll be posting lots more videos um, on Facebook and on YouTube, so please make sure that you follow along to those. Thank you so much for listening. Stay well, stay safe, stay at home and do as much as you can uh, from the comfort of your own home. If you've got a garden, go out and get fresh air. But um, you can still go for walks, uh, but obviously you're limited to just go on your own. So for women, please be really careful if you are walking on your own um, and uh, just stay well and we will get through this. This will pass. All the best, everybody.